What's up? I wanted to explain how to remove the keys from your 2016 or 2017 MacBook Pro. I think this also works for the newer MacBooks as well. Um, so I'm using this uh, battery container thing, but uh, you're going to want some kind of tool that's uh, flat, but plastic or otherwise is not going to damage your aluminum uh, and so forth. Um, so what you're doing is popping off the top part of the key and then sort of sliding up the rest of the key. And as I'm showing off here, you can see the top of the keys have these sort of C-clamps that wrap around a sort of bar. And then the bottom part of the key has these sort of L hooks that hook in. So that's why you're popping off the top of the key first and then sort of sliding off the rest of the key. So the technique is that you're popping off one side of the top and then the other side, and then you can just lift the key up. And it's pretty simple and uh, more or less idiot-proof as long as you're not applying too much uh, force. Uh, it shouldn't take very much force to just pop off either corner of the key. But I was trying to give a good look at what these plastic tabs are so you can sort of some understand what's going on. Um, so again, I'm popping off... Uh, these top corners and I was being very slow to begin with once I did, because I didn't really understand exactly how it was um, but again you can pretty easily uh, pop them off and then just slide up pick the pick the key up and it shouldn't be very problematic uh, as long as you're gentle so once you get into it and uh, start doing a few of them then you'll sort of get a feel for it and then you just sort of blaze through it and pop them off and the uh, reason that I'm removing my keys is because I use a Dvorak keyboard layout. And so you'll see I'm going to start adding the O key. If you're like me, you'll probably want to add some kind of tactile ability to feel where the home row is uh, because you lose that um, by swapping these keys in around. Uh, the J and F keys are the QWERTY um, home row signifiers, but on Dvorak it's the U and H keys, so if you are like me you're going to want to add those back and I think I'm just going to add a small uh, dab of Sugaru at the base of the key, like just a little circle so I can feel uh, those keys being there. So anyway, just be careful while you're doing this and uh, I'm pretty sure this will not void your warranty because it's pretty simple external procedure. Um, so just be gentle and try not to mess with the butterfly plastic uh, area beneath the key chiclet. But of course, do this at your own risk. It's of course possible to damage this if you're using the wrong tool or applying too much force or uh, apply force in the wrong way. So use this procedure at your own risk. But I found it to be a very easy uh, procedure and I wish you luck. Thanks for watching.